Do so you- they go to man's planet. They go to man's planet and they're like flying through this beautiful stark scene, but they run into this frozen cloud. Okay, looks like normal clouds. Normal clouds. Doink. <laughs> Doink. <It's> frozen cloud. <laughs> and then they land on the surface, which, or I guess an ice shelf of some type. <laughs> so my question is. Is it possible to have a cloud like this? Like, it, it wouldn't be a cloud anymore, right? Like, at, at the point where it's freezing into this crystalline structure, into, mm-hmm. this, into this ice structure, mm-hmm. it's going to be whatever the density is of ice, right? Mm-hmm. Like, so it, it, yeah, it looks like ice surrounded by a cloud. So there's some kind of weather going on. Does but, that happen? I mean, I guess on Earth we have mountains. And mountains get covered in snow and glaciers, and then there'll be fog and cloud cover over the mountain. Okay, I've, so for, so for short times, because 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 I'm thinking like, I'm thinking if if it's cold enough for the water molecules to freeze down on ice, mm-hmm. then into a solid into ice, then if you have more mist around, more fog stuff, and then those water molecules should also like contact the ice and freeze down. But you're saying like if it's intermediate or in, in, intermediate if it's if it's like intermittent, if it's intermittent, mm-hmm. like you have a fog roll in, then it goes mm-hmm. away, then it comes in, and out, mm-hmm. then yeah, you can have fog and ice at the same time, sure. Yeah, I, th- I think clouds can be frozen water particles. I think that's a possibility. Like high in the atmosphere, a lot of times it'll be frozen water will be the cloud. Oh, okay. okay. But so I, for example, in, mm-hmm, the, in the stripes of Jupiter and Saturn, yeah. the white stripes is a frozen ammonia. So it's like oh. ice crystals up in the cloud. Right. It's just it's just low particle density, so it's not forming like a block of ice. Right. But I, I, do, I, I do think in, in order for you to have, say that the atmosphere was not dynamic at all, and okay. we had an ice mountain. Okay. I think if there was no weather, then eventually everything would, would fall out. Every, every particle would eventually just fall out of the atmosphere. I do think you need some sort of weather... Uh, so, so for for two reasons. One is that mm-hmm. gravity would just pull particles down. You get ba- gas particles floating up, and then any mm-hmm. other molecules that are heavy falling falling down. Mm-hmm. Second factor is that if you if it's ice, then it's just stuff will freeze to it and not float back up. Right. Where if it was like hot ground, then stuff could bounce off and go back up. Sure. Right. So it needs to be some kind of water cycle. Stuff coming up into the atmosphere and precipitating down, and you know, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But could it be, I mean, if something was, sh- if ice, if an ice mountain was shrouded in a cloud of, okay. say, ice particles that we call a cloud, and we're flying through and we hit the, the ice, I'm going to say, oh, that's an ice mountain surrounded by fog. <laughs> that's right. right? That's I'm right. not going to say, oh, that's the whole thing is a cloud. Like, no that's way, right. right? Yeah, I wouldn't say, yeah, I would not say it's a whole cloud. I would say it's a cloud surrounded surrounding an ice block. I think so, right? Hmm. So is it possible to have a solid cloud? I think, I mean, so semantically or, or, or by, by word, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a cloud anymore. It would just cloud anymore. It'd just be an ice block. It would be an iceberg. Right. right. So the question is then maybe this atmosphere is somehow buoyant enough to hold icebergs up. Okay. Just like how ice floats in water. Yeah. But now ice floating in dense atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Which means, I guess, way down in this planet, there's some sort of dense atmosphere holding up the ice. I guess that's possible. I guess. But that, I mean, now we're asking, can a gas support a solid based on buoyancy alone? I don't know if gases can do that. I think I think they can if the solid is, you know, light enough. But ice okay, is so- pretty dense, right? If you get like a if you get like a krypton gas, so real real heavy, or that whatever mm-hmm. that that high Z, the highest Z noble gas is, mm-hmm. then you can mm-hmm. float some aerogel on it. Sure, yeah. I mean, yeah. and then I guess if it's really high pressure, really high mm-hmm. density, you could start floating stuff on it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. But ice would be a tough tough. I don't know if that's possible. Ice ice is pretty dense. Ice is pretty dense. Even the so, like seven or 17 whatever many different forms of ice there are they're all they're all still dense they're all still compared, dense, compared yeah. to a gas compared to a gas although i don't really i don't have hands-on experience with right. krypton gas or whatever that 
the heaviest element is. Mm -hmm. And there's billions and trillions and quadrillions of planets in the universe. Could some weirdness happen on something on some planet out there where there's floating ice? I cannot. Can I say no? I want to say no. I wouldn't yeah, call it I guess, cloud, though. Okay, so to be to be scientific, I would say very unlikely to within all of my training, no. But mm -hmm. also, there's a whole universe out there. Yeah, maybe there's a whole universe out there. If it's a one in a quadrillion chance, this probably exists. Oh, yeah, only got to prove me wrong once. What is I understand OG? The theory. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so here's the here's the yeah. uh, the mm -hmm. the noble gases, and so mm -hmm. we get helium, and then just heavier down. So I guess radon would have been yeah, a better example mm -hmm. for me. Um, and then even lower than that is organessin or, or organessin. Organessin, yeah. Have they? I guess they've manufactured organessin. that now, synthesized it. It's, it's, it's a thin synthetic chemical element, symbol OG, atomic number 118. Yeah. First synthesized in 22 at the Joint Institute for Nuclear something. Okay. So if we were to actually create this in enough quantities that we could create a gas on an atmosphere, could we float ice? I'm still going to say probably not. I have no intuition. I cannot say. Yeah, yeah, but it's heavy. It's gonna be heavy. It's gonna be heavy. This is this is our best chance. Yeah, that's our best chance. The OG noble gas. The OG noble gas. That's right. That's right. Got lots of ice. Ice.